championship in the red corner, 238 pounds from London, England, Chris Adams. And across the ring, 251 pounds from Manchester, England, Steve Casey. This is a one fall or 15 minute time limit match. The second match in the television tournament about to begin, Steve Casey. And there you see gentleman Chris Adams, the American heavyweight champion, the number two seed in this tournament. The man that wins this match will receive a bye in the next round. Chief referee Ron West assigned this match by Mid-South, a very, very important encounter for two world-class athletes. Obviously, we know a little bit more about Chris Adams than we do Steve Casey, but his appearance here last week uh, proved one thing, Joel. He is a very capable athlete. We know that Adams is. Well, no doubt about it. Adams is an international superstar. Steve Casey, also from England, I think will prove to be a very good com competition for Chris Adams. They know each other's style. You know, Jim, I noticed that out in the audience, there are a lot of people holding up signs with the names of wrestlers, and I think I think it's great. I think a lot of people are starting to sit up and take notice of the great competition in the Mid-South. You know, you can't fool the fans. They know quality that when they And here at Mid-South, we strive to keep quality wrestlers, quality athletes, and quality competition on television. Steve Casey just ducked out of the way of Chris Adams, and Adams goes out. Adams is befuddled, I think. Adams over the top rope, and then... Adams a little too aggressive, charging at Steve Casey. Casey with a pair of arm drags. He's got Chris Adams down to the mat, but Chris showing the form that has made him a true superstar back to his base where he can compete. And Casey really, really stretching that arm. He's got that top wrist lock pegged in there, but Adams with his tremendous agility manages to, with a front hip, handspring to get out of it and now he has the headlock and the predicament on Steve Casey. Ladies and gentlemen, still to come in this hour, Kerry Von Eric and Terry Taylor together as a team for the first time here in Mid-South. Plus next week, Joel, what an hour. The Nightmare will be here. Dutch Mantell, Eddie Gilbert, and the Rock and Roll Express return to Mid-South right here next week. So wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, in the five great states, anywhere, the Superstation in Atlanta, be sure to stay tuned in next week for another great hour. Well, it's going to be great to see the Rock and Roll Express back and along with the other new athletes that will be coming into the Mid-South. I think it's great. I think being on WTBS has even made some wrestlers take notice and try it. But Steve Casey with a hard, hard forearm, I think got Chris Adams' attention once again. And Chris may have a little bit more on his hands than he might have expected. Adams with the single leg going to the headlock. But Casey's a big man, and I think it's going to take a little bit more than a headlock to pin him. Ronnie West with a one count. Chris Adams admonishing Ronnie West to make that count a little bit faster. But Ronnie West, one of the most skilled referees in the profession, has a very deliberate count. And I'll tell you, I never really see any deviation in the speed in which he counts. Fine, fine referee Ronnie West is. Chris Adams back to the headlock. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if we have time in this hour, you'll see Hacksaw Duggan with country music superstar John Anderson of swinging fame. That and Kerry Von Eric, Terry Taylor, still a lot more to come here on Mid-South. Oh, a hard body check by Chris Adams. He sends Steve Casey down to the canvas. It looked as if Adams was going to get the aggressiveness, but again, Steve Casey with the arm drags. What a match. Joel, I'm really impressed. Both these tremendous athletes. Casey, a little unknown commodity, but he is rapidly gaining a great deal of stock here on Mid-South. Oh, Casey just about had it. Casey just about had it. Adams, with the great balance that he possesses. A hard right cross. Steve Casey staggered. Super kick, and over the top rope goes Steve Casey. Wow! Wow! Roddy West about to start the count. Well, I tell you, it's amazing. Amazing that Steve Casey was even able to get back up to his feet. What a tough guy. Adams with that super kick would have dropped, I think, the normal human being. But Adams relentless. Apparently, Adams has seen that Casey 
has a lot of athletic ability, a hard suplex, a hard suplex. But this could be it. Adams is up to the top rope. The top rope, Roddy West telling him no. Roddy West tells him no, and Roddy, Roddy rings the bell. Roddy's calling for the bell. Adams up the top rope, that's a disqualification. Well, Joel, it's a disqualification, but I couldn't see from my vantage point if he made contact. I think, and I may be wrong, but I think that you have to make contact off that second rope. But there you see the winner, Steve Casey, by disqualification. You cannot come off the top rope. That's the referee's decision. Well, the referee has the last word in the situation. There's no doubt about that, Jim. And I, he was telling Chris Adams not to come off the top rope, and I think Chris deliberately disobeyed him in an attempt to get back at Steve Casey for the embarrassment that he suffered at Casey's hands. And Casey hammered him with right crosses. Now, Chris Adams trying to get back at him. Chris Adams does not think that this match is over, I don't think. Chris has got him tied up in the ropes. Adams has got him tied up in the ropes. And now Casey is at the mercy of this international superstar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Casey gets out of the way. I think that saved him. Adams is going for the super kick, but Steve Casey, there you see the winner. Casey's the winner. He advances in the tournament and will be back.